Good morning, everybody. This is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. Um, something I forgot to place in my energetic update yesterday was um, about the energies, I guess, that are still um, lingering for the Lionsgate. And um, I think I mentioned... Um, I guess it was. Um, let me try to go back into my calendar here. Um, August the 5th, I ended up getting the um, an orb in my eye. I placed, I'll let you guys know that information um, in one of my videos. And I also mentioned later on, um, maybe a week or two later, that it began to shift. And it stopped looking as a, a circle orb. It became elongated a little bit. And I kind of, I'm at the point that uh, I just trust in my path. I, I just allow things to come to me. But then there comes a time when I just say, you know what? Give me some more information, please, God. It's very rare when I ask. Um, but um, I'm trying to ask more um, instead of just allowing things to be. Um, there's no right and wrong here, but God really wants you to begin to ask. That is um, still... When we ask, we are still trusting. Um, so, but anyway, he told me what it was um, while I was uh, either before my vacation or. Um, so I kind of realized because it it's been moving. It was in my far upper right corner of my right eye, and I. I knew it was coming down at an angle, and it's further, it's past my pupil, almost in between um, my nose and the bridge of my nose and um, my pupil. So it's uh, in between there, kind of, and it's been moving the past couple of days as well still. And so when this gets to the center of my vision, which it is actually the infinity sign um, going sideways. Or the number eight going sideways, I meant. Um, that is going to be the sign of the veil being lifted. Um, we are still lifting the veil. That's the message I got last night anyway, but also throughout my vacation. God spoke it. Still, the veil is still being lifted. Um, and he showed me the infinity sign in the center of my, my vision. So I know that that's where this infinity sign needs to go in my inner vision. And it will indicate the veil is lifted. Now, when the veil is lifted, don't get too excited. Stay humble. There's still that process of um, integrating the energies that are associated now with that lifted veil. Um, and... He showed me the praying mantis last night as after speaking about the veil being lifted. Um, one, the praying mantis represents stillness. They don't move unless absolutely necessary. They are a divine representation of stillness, of being. If you are not creating stillness in your life and you have tons of emotions and thoughts that are just popping in and being triggered all around you, 
stillness is going to be your best friend. Do it first thing in the morning. Do it in the middle of the day. Do it at night. And now that stillness doesn't have to be a long period of time. You can choose to break it up into pieces. Um, sometimes mine go for an hour. Sometimes for five minutes. It's getting it in. When we create stillness, we allow God to speak to us. When we pray, we speak to God. You understand? God will speak to you through stillness. Even if you don't understand anything that he's saying now, he's giving you peace. He's giving you comfort. He's giving you love and guidance. That only through stillness can you understand or implement in your life. Um, and so if you are somebody who is or does create stillness, this is still a confirmation that this is what we need to do. As a collective, the stillness still allows God to give us, give us information that we can therefore relay back to the collective. When we are feel more at peace though, inner peace, inner calmness, we are better equipped to give our true love and light. And that is what's going to help lift the veil more. When we are being triggered and then react and give more of that trigger back, we're feeding into the drama. And I had that come over in my mind yesterday about certain things, and I don't know why. Um, it just popped in um, where, you know, sometimes you, especially on social media, you'll, or you have a best friend saying, well, I'm not going to shop at the store any longer because of, I, I heard about this, this, and this that they're doing. And I'm going to use Starbucks, okay, because... People love Starbucks or go to Starbucks all the time. Now, I love their coffee as well. And I particularly go to the one that's inside of my Target where um, I just love the people there. I love, love my Target and the people. Every person that I come in contact with, whether it's at the pharmacy, at the desk, you know, the um, checkout line, or at Starbucks, is awesome. The energy when I walk into that place is beautiful and I will not go to another Target because they're not the same. And um, so you hear from time to time that they stand for something or they're, they're promoting a cause or um, all kinds of stuff. And so people are like, well, I'm not going to go there anymore and they're spreading all this uh, um information on social media and their input, their anger and their sadness and, and stuff like that. And I really started to think last night because when you believe what they say, it doesn't matter if it's true or not. When you believe it, you, when you, 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 you believe it, you become what they're talking about. You become that negative energy. So if you never heard a bad thing about Starbucks, Arby's, whatever it is, a store, Target, Walmart, places you go, if you've never heard a bad word being spoken, would you know anything bad about that company? No. 
what that company does is about them. Just as much as what your best friend does is about them. But when you are triggered and believe in it and then stop it, you are now not your true light any longer. You've picked up a negative source. And then you're going to talk about it and spread it and spread it and spread it and spread it. And it can never go away. How do you diffuse it? You don't become a part of it. And you also tell your friend, well, you know what? This is this and this. Of course, whoever it is that I was speaking about it must be open to receiving that type of understanding. You know, there are a lot of stores that I don't want to go to, especially because of what is going on in society um, currently, but I caught myself and I said, well, if I stop, I feed it. I become it. I do. I do. My heart becomes infected. My mind becomes infected by it. I am no longer pure. Stillness. Stopping and pausing, just like that praying mantid, doesn't move, doesn't react until absolutely necessary. Will it pounce or move and take off if you are aggravating it? It waits and waits and waits until it's actually truly threatened and decides, okay, I'm going to move. Moves. It moves. Be absolutely certain. And it means for you to stop. Stop. And breathe. Take that pause there. Before you decide something. That pause means a lot when you want to live a peaceful life. I think we're going to enter into a period of triggers more than what we have been. So if you watched my energetic update yesterday about the new moon and stuff, there's still a lot of things going on, more than what I actually put in that video, um, but I stuck with what really resonates with myself um, and who I am um, and what my light represents and uh, um, just know that there are more things going on, uh, more planets that are being affected. It will affect us here. Um, Uranus is in uh, retrograde in Taurus um, until the end of the year, I believe. Um, so I'm a Taurus. Um, triggers are still going to come into play here or, you know, I might stop saying triggers. Um, our love, I think, and our love and our light is going to be, I don't know if questioned um, is, is the right word here either. You know, our words really do make a huge difference. And when we can stop saying certain things, our mind will stop believing in those words. <laughs> and our heart will never feel that type of stuff again. Um, so I hope this video helps, and um, I hope it's a quick video. I didn't check the time here. Um, remember to stop and pause. And from what I see in my vision with the, the number eight, the infinity sign, we're getting very close to completing or to lifting this veil. It's only when we can really stay centered in our own love, our own truth, our light, can we help this veil become lifted? We are helping lift this veil. 
and you have to stay strong. Stay true. And it's through stillness, that pause and reflection, that waiting, that calmness, everything that that mantid represents. Can we accomplish this? Don't allow outside influences to really bring us down. But yet, if they are bringing you down, it's because there's something still that needs to be purged. It's pushing your button. And if your buttons are being pushed, you haven't healed completely. Remember that. And you have to stop and pause and reflect and choose. I want to heal or I want to hold on to. I forgot, today is an actual eight day. It's the 17th. You add one and seven, you have an eight. And we will have another chance again at the end of the month or towards um, next week anyway, on the 26th with our the last eight day of the month. So I wanted to get that into you. Um, when things still line up like this and create the number through a gateway, it's still the same vibration. Um, so if you are still seeing 808 or eight, the number eights um, everywhere, it's still the confirmation that we are still integrating the energies associated with the lion's gate. Um, So we'll still have today and one more time next week. Um, and I also do wanted to add two months ago. Well, on the 26th will be two months to the day. And that's when God gave me a message um, in June, June 26th to be precise, um, that something was taking place. In two months um, and that this could be just the end of when all of this comes to cease or maybe it's when the veil is lifted or something else significant is going to take place I don't know yet um, I hope to fill you in on that as it, we get closer um, and approach that day or soon thereafter this is Christy much love health and a healing your way I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.